Hello everyone, here we are one more time. So what we have is uh, we got Glenn uh, Tapia versus David Lemieux in a 10 round middleweight bout. You know, they will be fighting on uh, Amir Khan's Canelo undercard on May 7th. You know, I think first of all I want to say is this card is full of, uh, you know, mismatch. You know, in a way, I mean, uh, you know, Amir Khan is going up two weight classes to fight Canelo, you know, whereas uh, Glenn Sapia is going up in weight to fight David Lemieux. So it's kind of mismatches both both of these matches, to be honest. And uh, secondly, I want to say is uh, David Lemieux and Glenn Sapia, both of these fighters are coming off a loss. David Lemieux lost to Triple G and uh, Glenn Sapia lost to Michel Soro. You know, I would rather see Michel Soro take on David Lemieux, to be honest. You know, I don't think there is uh, anything special I could expect from Glenn Tapia. I don't think so. But he's still young. I hope he comes back and give give at least a good fight. You know, I don't think he has a chin, to be honest. This is our, you know, when I saw the last fight against Michel Soro, he just, he didn't know what to do. When he's hurt, he's hurt. You know, he's... But... You know, you never know, man. Might come up and, uh, you know, give everyone a surprise. You never know. So David Lemieux needs to, you know, stop talking about, you know, I'll fight Canelo, for, you know, after or a Triple G or have a rematch with Triple G. You know, I think he needs to get past this guy first before he talks big. You know, I'm sure if he beats this guy, you know, then he'll be fighting uh, Canelo. That's how I see it. In my opinion, obviously, they're both with Golden Boys. So, obviously, you know, uh, he want to, you know, have the matches in the house. So, I don't know, guys. I think, uh, you know, Glenn Tapia is obviously with Trip Brady Roach, I guess. And, uh, you know, he needs to learn something defensive as well. He needs to, you know, he, he doesn't know how to keep his distance. You know, in the last fight, this is our side. He doesn't know how to keep his range, his distance. But, you know, I'm sure he's, he's, should, he's gonna be ready. You know, and uh, we all know David Lemieux can bang, he can punch, he can take your life out with a punch. So, it's gonna be a good match, hopefully. You know, everything is on Glenn Tapia. If he, because he's the one who needs to make it entertaining. You know, if he gets hurt, you know, I don't, I don't wanna see him, that's it, you know. Boom. But you know, I hope they put on a good show. You know, you know, David Lemieux always bring bring excitement. You know, he was the first one to take on Triple G challenge, so props to him. You know, and yeah, he didn't complain after the fight. You know, that's the good thing about him. You know, he's still talking about a rematch with Triple G. That's down the line somewhere, but I think he needs to get past this guy. You know, because. Uh, you know, you never know, you know, he's young, Glenn Sapia is young, so he might surprise you or give, you know, give a good fight, you never know, so let's see guys how it goes, you know, just before, you know, I love to see the way in, I have to see how these fighters look in, in the way in, so just, so I'll give you my predictions, let me know guys what you think, please subscribe, comment, and peace.